Alrighty, folks. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. And thanks for uh, for a lot of you watching my previous video, actually. I, I really appreciate that. It was uh, good numbers, that was. It seemed to do well, but though I suppose it was a hot topic. I was very mindful not to... Uh, to get too much into the politics of it, um, at the end of the day I'm not in full favour of the facts and I doubt very many people are either, despite the fact that uh, there is an awful lot of Reddit conversation going on um, with lots of people claiming to have uh, inside information. And, but certainly one thing was clear, a lot of people have got opinions on what they think is happening, um, but it was something I was uh, very mindful not to get uh, to get involved in, and I, I think I did well there, sort of avoiding it. Um, it was just more about the F-15E uh, module itself and, and whether you should buy it under the circumstances. So, uh, But yes, uh, very well uh, received. Many of you might not know, but the way that uh, YouTube uh, tends to work is that if you've got a thousand subscribers or more, you actually qualify to be uh, uh, monetized. You can actually get sponsors and all sorts. So, uh, if you are enjoying this content, please, by all means, just hit that subscribe button. Uh, certainly does does help. Um, views are another issue altogether. But if you can get the subscribers, that'll be absolutely uh, fantastic. But either way, um, I do these things out of love. I'm certainly not doing them. I'm not getting paid for them. So, I am uh, doing this because I enjoy it. Uh, and I think that's important. You've got to enjoy what you do, haven't you? Right, OK, enough of that. Uh, where are we then? I'm just taking off from Bandar Abbas. Uh, in front, we've got Faisal. He's currently uh, dueling with uh, an F-18. And uh, what I've set myself today to do is to get rid of the AWACS, the enemy AWACS, that is, um, because uh, there's only two of us and there's uh, three of them plus uh, two F-15 AIs. I've got a come up against so we are outnumbered here we're, we're just defending just basic flights here take the AWACS out and defend uh, Kassab and that's uh, all we can really do until the numbers come on so if I can get down there and take that AWACS out then that's going to give us uh, a little helping hand okay this is the map then do this post video I, lo I like doing this I've done this before where I'm flying I'm talking about it and I know once I uh, once I finish I'll be uh, in Photoshop trying to make sense of what I'm saying but it seems to work so I'm gonna carry on doing it uh, Bandar Abbas is where I'm currently at mainland to the south gotta go across the water and try and get some height and speed take on the AWACS we've got Kassab to the north of the mainland and Stinger Alley both targets of which uh, are being uh, attacked as we speak this is the threat circles. We've got the larger red circle, which is uh, the Patriot, and the two Hawk sites um, just within the uh, the circle. They haven't actually drawn them very accurately. They are slightly off, but it's just to give you a, an idea of the threat circles that I've currently got in my system. What isn't showing, though, uh, and I know is there, are these two uh, circles. The uh, the small the smaller white circle there at Fujira is the Hawk site. That's an enemy air base. I'm going to be flying over that. So I need to get above 50,000 feet and as fast as I can for two reasons. Uh, one, in case the enemy decides to launch a fast jet at me, I want to be fast so I can get out of there quickly. Um, and also because I need to be over 50,000 feet to avoid the Hawk site. If you're over 50,000 feet, um, you can avoid the, uh, the Hawk's tracking system. It's just the limitation of, uh, of the way that it, it works. And then the Patriot, I'm going to go into that circle at uh, hopefully well above 50,000 feet as fast as I can, take a shot and then head towards uh, ben Bandera Jask. If I've got the fuel, I'll linger a bit and uh, just in case uh, my missiles get notched, because that's, that's the thing, even though the AWACS doesn't move particularly quickly, um, it can, when it's doing its orbit, uh, actually uh, notch my missiles, in which case um, I need to make sure I've got plenty of fuel to be able to go back in again and have another go, um, if I can. But regardless whether I get a chance to have a, a second shot or not, I'm going to be landing at Bandra Jask. Don't really want to be landing at Kassab if I can help it because it is currently under attack and one of the main reasons why we want to uh, take out the AWACS is to give us a fighting chance, seeing as we are outnumbered here today. Um, so it'd be good to, uh, to just blind them um, and make it uh, just a little easier for us to, to defend uh, Kassab. So that's, that's the single mission uh, mindset I've got at the moment. Destroy the AWACS at all costs, get down there, do the business, get out again. Okay, pretty close to Kassab here now. Just going to take it, just lean a little bit to the left here to just go around. Currently carrying six sticks, six AM120s. 
and three fuel tanks. You can just see the, the two fuel tanks underneath the uh, the wings there. Obviously, one underneath the uh, the belly. Um, uh, Faisal has. Yeah, copy that, Faisal. Roger. Yeah, Faisal's actually uh, killed the F-18, which is good. So what we're going to do here, you can see the outer rim there of the Patriot missile system. Um, now, with the Patriot, it's it's a bit different than the Hawk. It, there is no going above 50,000 feet and getting away with it. It's, uh, it's uh, well, in fact, you can't get high enough. The Patriot is a very long range uh, SAM site. You can see it there uh, on the HSD screen on my right. So I'm just, uh, I've just had to go a little bit to the left to just avoid going into that circle for now. Um, so I'm just full burn at the moment and still just just climbing I want to be at 50,000 feet before we get to uh, Fujira and uh, I'm just waiting for the fuel to come down low enough to get rid of the external wing tanks because um, I want to drop them first keeping the, uh, the the center tank as you can see here the switch there exit fuel transnorm switch that to wing first and it uses the external tanks Right, okay, the AWACS is over there. Just bringing it around to the right a little bit as I skirt around the uh, the ring. Just taking a look at him now. Need to get just a, a little bit closer. Although, to be fair, he is coming towards me. He's turning to his left, which is going to bring him uh, towards me. So we might be able to get a, a couple of long shots here. We're at 51,000 feet, Mach 1-4. I know we're slightly out of range here, but just pick the nose up, give him a shot. He is coming into the missile, so that uh, that bracket there will will shorten. It might have been a tad too early there, but it's okay. Let me give him another one. Do you know, I've just realised in my hurry to get started here, I haven't even f completed my INS uh, setup properly. You can tell that I haven't flown the F-16 for a while. Anyway, okay, let's just bring it round. Give him another one. Fox 3. Do you know, being out here on my own with Faisal refueling and rearming, I, uh, there are three of them out there and on the scoreboard you don't know what they're flying. So at any moment I, I'm just waiting to be attacked. So that's why I want to keep this speed high. I, um, I'm surprised I've been able to get this far south without being challenged yet. I know I'm in danger of speaking far too soon here. See, he's coming towards me, which is good. We should really get him here at this uh, height and speed. I'm not worried about the hawk sight underneath me. I've only got the single tank, so we should be okay here. So, oh, you see he's actually turning now. You see, this is what I'm worried about. As he does his circular pattern, despite the fact he's within the missile range, he may well actually notch it. So he's actually going away from me now. According to the bracket, anyway. Be careful of those F-15s. I'm now within the uh, Patriot firing zone now, so I've got to be careful here. Speed is high. I'm high enough and fast enough to get out of problems, no matter what happens. I've just got to make sure I don't uh, linger too, mu too much, especially in this direction. There is another Patriot, as I mentioned earlier in the map. I've got to be mindful of that. It's nothing on the RWR, though. I've held that lock for long enough. See, I've yeah, yeah, just literally lost the lock, as I mentioned keeping it. Come on, reappear. So this is where he's notched me, so he stands a chance of notching my missiles as well. There he is. Come on. There we go. Got him again. And one more. And then what we'll do is we'll circle away slowly. Keep the speed high. Keep the height high. And then if we need to, we can come back in again. Not looking for finesse here, just looking to just drop that AWACS. And now that we're much lighter and we've lost the two bags and we're losing fuel, we should be able to uh, turn around and get a lot higher. There we are, lost the, uh, lost the centre tank. Right. We'll just turn this thing around, we'll, we'll head eastwards very careful not to pull too hard. You can see you lose a lot of energy if you pull hard in the 16 at high altitude. So I'm turning deliberately very, very slowly here to keep the speed up high. 
get too close to the F-15s and then they become committed and they'll chase you so I'm just trying to keep out of harm's way here. Well, we've completed our turn. Slightly uh, stopped recording briefly there. Fox 3 at him. Turned it back on. Took me a long time to turn around. And as you can see, though, look at that Mach 1.65 almost at 56,000 feet. I know he's going away from me, but he's only doing 240 knots. The missile have plenty of energy to just glide down to him. Feel a bit more confident about this shot now. Only two missiles left, mind you. And we do have somebody who's just joined us. And he's in an F-18. So I'm told... I'm just going to hold this lock for as long as I dare. I'm just outside the uh, Patriot range. for as long. That should be plenty. Okay. Look up. I'm going to take a shot at the 15. Yeah, as soon as I get a lock on the 15, I'm firing. and we're turning away. <laughs> the Hawk site's tracking me. I'm not, I don't know. Oh, I'm a bit confused. Why is that tracking me up here? Oh, there's the 18 on the RWR. See him on my HSD though. Oh crap. Uh, Faisal, I've been shot at. I've been shot at. Be close. Cat Blair. I see him Cat now. Blair. I see him now on the HSD. He Cat must Blair. have. He must have took off from Fugitive. Oh. I'm fast though. Cat I'm Blair. fast. I should be okay. I should be able to beat this. I reacted quickly enough. That's why I wanted to stay high and fast. Okay, let's pick up the nose. Let's go get him. Feels good. Feels okay. All right, let's turn this thing around. Yeah, Faisal, go get him.
Basil's managed to uh, shoot at the F-15 and the F-18. It is at this point now mission accomplished. I don't have an awful lot of fuel left. I can maybe just send one on to the F-18 to just uh, give uh, Faisal, who's uh, closer to the mainland there, uh, some breathing room to get out. I can just send a missile to the 18 just to get him to uh, to leave us alone. I don't have much to linger here, so I'm just going to fly on this way for a little bit and uh, just uh, help Faisal out if I can. Well, it looks like Faisal's been shot at by the Patriot, which is uh, making his life difficult. Uh, so he's just hitting the deck, trying to get out of the way. The F-18's uh, running away, which is good. Um, but Faisal's extremely low on fuel as well. So I'm just uh, in this direction here, just ready to, to flank. I've kept my speed high, my altitude high, so I can turn in and uh, squeeze off a shot. But that's all I'll be able to do, because after this, I really do need to get, uh, to get away and get to Bandera Jask. Lock, I will fire. Three. There we are. Send him on his way. That sent him westwards. Faisal's so low that he can't be properly picked up but I think it's time for us to exit now. Eastwards we go. I've held the speed well, Mach 1.7, as we can see here. Um, I'm heading eastwards, uh, Faisal's not too far behind me. F-18 looks like he is still, still wants to play. The trouble is Faisal's just reported that he's um, low on fuel so can't afford to burn back to Bandera Jask. The thing is I'm Winchester. Uh, Faisal's got one missile left so hopefully if I can turn this thing around and make it look like I'm going to engage the F-18 maybe he might just back off. Yeah, I'm turning here. The F-18's done the right thing which is to, to climb high he doesn't look like he's taken the bait. He's still got eyes on Faisal. Uh, Faisal's got one missile left, but he's dangerously low on fuel. I'm still turning anyway in the hope to send the F-18 away, but it doesn't look like he's falling for it. Yeah, roger that, Faisal. Uh, Faisal's got no choice but to turn back round and uh, try and take a shot at, at him. Right. It, I'm going to have to head uh, east, I'm afraid. Good luck, Faisal. Good luck, mate. Despite the fact that there's nothing I can really do about it, I do feel somewhat uh, useless and guilty. 800 pounds, even if I wanted to, I've got to get out of here. I hope he manages to do it. Well, he's foxed him. That's good. I heard the, I heard the call. Board. 
his name's gone white, which means he's uh, had to. He's back in the lobby and he's having to reslot. Ah oh, well, never mind. Never mind. Well, it's mission success. I set out to get the AWACS and I did it, so that's good. And that'll certainly help newcomers to the sim. Well, that was strange. I just stopped the recording uh, to uh, come in to land here at Bendra Jask, and I had a slight missile warning that was uh, no tone, but just the symbol on my RWR for a few seconds. He must have the 18 must have shot at me, and then it must have just uh, lost track of me. Uh, so that was uh, was kind of fortunate. I kept uh, my speed high. Well, that's good. Two new uh, blue players have just joined us, which is fantastic. Uh, one of them is an F-15 pilot, which is uh, which is good. So. Having taken the AWACS out there is going to give us uh, definitely a, a fighting chance of defending uh, Kassav. I have to mention though, kudos to uh, the F-18 pilot there. He uh, really did give us a, mon a run for our money there. Uh, definitely a tough opponent. fun. I take this opportunity to once again thank you for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. Looking forward to the next one. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and I'll catch you all uh, in the next one. Thanks a lot. Take care.